fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust and the hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. With unmatched courage and daring, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. But even when the power of the law had been established, he carried on his fight for justice. Throughout the new territory, Hayo Silver came to be the battle cry of right against might, the hope of the weak against the strong. It was the Lone Ranger more than any other man who made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading west for the open range! Hail, Silver! Away! <laughs> ranch house open and stared eagerly in the direction of town. His wife, sitting in the parlor, watched him with exasperation. Now, Amos, what good's it doing you to keep running to the door? You think it'll make Slim get here any quicker? Doggone it, I don't see him yet. Come back here and sit down. Uh, what in tongue is keeping him anyhow? My land, he ain't been gone but two hours. He left at eight. It's almost eleven. All right, three hours then. How long does it take you to go to town and back? Uh, he ought to hurry. Well, maybe the stage was late. Oh, it ain't late once in a month. Well, then maybe the postmaster was slow in sorting out the mail. <laughs> Still got to see the time he ever got more than a dozen letters off in one stage. Oh, do sit down and quit fretting. I declare Amos should keep this up and you'll drive me half wild. You don't act like you think this is important. Well, of course it is. Just but... means the difference between losing or saving our ranch, that's all. I know it just as well as you do. Then why can't you get excited? Don't shout at I me. I didn't. You did. Well, I... well, I didn't mean to. <laughs> oh, Amos, if I wasn't used to you by now, I'd go to an early grave. I never saw you beat. You're just like our boys was before they grew up. All excited and happy one minute and as gloomy as night the next. Oh, I don't please you. <laughs> don't talk silly. You'll just feel foolish about it later. Uh, if Slim don't show up inside the next ten minutes, I'll, I'll fire him. You'll do no such thing and you know it. I got a notion to saddle up and ride to town myself. Now are you going to stand staring out their door for another five minutes? If you let any more dust into there, this... There house, he I... is! Slim! What's been holding you? Wow! It's come, boss. Hey, here it is. Hurry back just as fast as could. Is it the letter, Amos? Sure is. Get in here, Slim. Uh-huh. Uh, you'll know in just a second now if I'm going to be able to pay your wages any longer or not. Uh, what you say? Just a second. Just a, 
Yippee! Boss, you got the contract? For a thousand head. Mercy. Glory be, boss. And, and if we get the first bunch there on time, they'll take another thousand after that. Huh? On time? Well, how soon's the railroad got to have that beef? <laughs> Not for two whole months. It sounds good. But where do we make delivery? It says here they'll have steel laid as far as Cedar Point. You'll have a whopping big construction camp there, so that's where we make our drive. Oh, Amos, it's wonderful. Wonderful? <laughs> Thunderation, honey, that don't half describe it. When we've delivered that herd, we'll have money to pay off the mortgage of the bank with cash to spare. Doggone if we ain't sitting on top of the world. Mm-hmm. But I was just wondering. <laughs> huh? Morley bid on that contract, too, didn't he? Sure. It was just him and me after it. Then don't count your calves before they're weaned. Now, what's the matter with you, Slim? Nothing, boss. You mean, what's the matter with Morley? Well, don't well, you know that crook wanted this contract just as bad as you did, boss? And you figure there's anything he'd stop at to get it? How can he? I offered to sell cheaper than him, and the contract's mine. Uh-huh. For now. But if something happened so you couldn't make delivery, it'd be his. I, I got the cows, ain't I? Sure. And time of plenty to get him there, ain't I? You should have. What in places can go wrong? I don't know, boss. But Morley will think of something. You wait and see. Toward the end of the week, Amos rode to town to hire the extra men he would need for the roundup and the drive to Cedar Point. He returned several hours later and drew his mount to a stop beside the bunkhouse where Slim was standing. Oh, oh, fella. Well, boss, what luck you have? Find the kind of fellas we want? <clears throat> I can't figure it out. Well, what happened? Doggone, I don't know. Slim, what's Morley doing over at his place? He'd call for a big crew. You got me. Why? There never, never are many cow hens to be got this time of the year. I know that. I figured if I was lucky enough to find just two or three that looked handy, we could make out. Couldn't even locate one. Well, what do you know? Found a few hanging around the cafe, but they said they'd just hired out to Morley. Hmm, that's a funny thing. He, uh, he's not planning on a roundup, is he? Not that I know of. Hmm. Nobody in town heard anything either. I asked quite a few. Well, there's no rush. We don't have to have anybody right away. Kind of worries me, though. Shucks, I'll go to town again myself in a couple of days. Bet by then I'll find fellas a plenty. I'm afraid you won't. What, what a mask. Mast! Uh, where'd you come from, and wh what are you after? My horse is behind the bunkhouse. Running from the law? No. Well, you'd better be on your way anyhow. Crooks ain't welcome on this place. I'm not an outlaw. But you're aware I came to bring you news, Amos. Huh? Bad news. Well, what do you mean? What I said at first. You won't find the men you need. At least not in this district. Morley's seen to that. You don't find many unemployed wranglers at this season. Morley's employed the few there are. The boss was just telling me that. But what Amos didn't know was that Morley hired those fellows for just one reason. To prevent your getting the men you need. Why, the rotten skunk. And that's not the worst of it. No? The bank held a mortgage on your place, didn't it? it still does. No. Morley does. Well, you're crazy. The bank... Sold him your mortgage. Well, I'll be throwed and hogtied. He's after you on two counts now, Amos. If he can prevent your getting a trail herd to the construction camp in time to meet the terms of your contract, he'll not only stand a chance of getting that contract for himself at his own price, but he'll be able to foreclose the mortgage as well. Stranger, how'd you find out all this? A friend of mine, an Indian, heard Morley making his boast in the cafe. He'd been drinking. Boss, didn't I tell you? Didn't I warn you you couldn't ever guess what that coyote would be up to next? He won't lick me. As long as you're forewarned, you'll still have a good chance. But the trouble is, if Morley's set to hire everybody that comes along to prevent them from working for us, he can do it. He's got cash to spare. Doggone if my boys just hadn't drove up and left home, they... Slim. Huh? Did you hear what I just said? About your boys? There's Leif, Carl, and Ed. There's Jim and Dale. Every one of them worked for me up to the time they left to strike out for themselves. And every doggone one was the equal of the best top hand ever drew my wages. You mean... I'm sending for him. You think my own boys let me down? <laughs> to blazes with hiring a crew, I'm going to get the crew I raised. And how them kids used to love a fight. This is something just made to their order. Boss, you thought of something. Stranger, thanks a million for telling me this. Here, yes, Silver. If I learn more, I'll let you know. But what's our troubles to you? You'd most likely not believe me if I told you. But Slim! Slim, 
look at this horse. Gosh, ever see his light? Yep. I won't be far away at any time, Amos. But look here. Come on, Silver. Wait. Come on. Now, who do you suppose that gent is? Oh, sir? Did it occur to you that he might have been sent here by Morley to tell us what he did, a purpose? Sure. But I don't believe it. Mm, you can tell. In the first place, I... Cotton to that hombre in spite of that mask. Yeah, in a kind of way I did, too. Second and last, Morley knows my boys. <laughs> he wouldn't want them around. He'd do anything to keep them away. I suppose. Come on. I'll have Abby write him this minute. A week later... I remember what I told you, Slim... You be careful how you drive that buckboard coming back. He <laughs> sure will, boss. You tip over anything when my boys are riding with you, and I'll lambaste you good. If you want me to get to town in time to meet them, you'd better let me get started. Get on with you. Slim, wait. Ma'am? I'll lambaste you if you let on about all the cooking and the baking I've been doing for them. Ma'am, you can trust me. <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> get up there. Get up. Get up. Oh, Amos, I'm so excited to think our boys will all be home again. I, I could cry. <laughs> I've never seen a time a female couldn't. Dale ain't been home for five years. Mm. Ain't seen Carl in two. <laughs> Look, Amos. Well, did you cook all them vittles by yourself? Oh, twa'n't no trouble. Chicken and apple pie and pudding and dressing and, and fresh-made bread. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, when the boys see all that, they won't never want to leave again. I hope they don't. Uh, you, you know, Abby, I feel kind of sorry for Morley. They don't deserve it. <laughs> but what my boys will do to him if he gets in their way will be a caution. A dozen times, Amos looked proudly at the table loaded down with good things to eat. A dozen more times he went to the door and gazed down the trail. Abby, just as pleased as her husband, remained more calm. Amos, if you have to be doing something, you can use some of that energy to set these things on the table. Eh? Oh, oh, sure, Abby. Well, what's ready? You better put the plates on first. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I reckon from now on I'll call on the boys more often. Looks like that's the best way for me to get the things I like to eat. Oh, go on with you. <laughs> If there's anything special you want, you know, all you have to do is to ask for it. Ah, uh, that used to be so. But now they ain't quite as handsome as they was. They don't get the same attention no more. <laughs> when was you ever handsome? Well, I was. <laughs> when you and me got hitched, I was the best-looking fella in the county. <laughs> yes, sir. Just like you was the best-looking girl. Oh, and you <laughs> must talk. Here, put this butter on. Uh -huh. And then you can go and look again and see if they ain't coming. I'd like to know it if they're almost here. I must look at sight. They ought to be here before long. I, I... Boss, the, the stage come. But the boys didn't. Why, Slim. Why, I wrote them to get here by this stage without fail. I know it, ma'am. You're joking. You must be. Shucks, my boys wouldn't let their paw down at a time like this. I know they wouldn't. Slim, you... You are joking, ain't you? I'm sorry, boss. Not a one showed up. Oh. Then, then they did let me down. I reckon they did. You can go, Slim. Boss, I wish I could tell you Go how... on, Slim. I just don't feel much like talking. Sure. Well, my own boys failed me when I needed them most. Hey, Miss. Please. Abby, you know what this means? Don't blame the boys, Amos. If they couldn't get here, they had the reasons. I suppose they have worries of their own. Worries? And... Worries? They've got worries. Abby, we won't even have a home. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger raced back to the small, well-hidden camp where Tonto was waiting. Oh, pull this over. Oh, boy. Oh. Yep. Tonto, the help Amos counted on won't be here. What matter? I told you he wrote to his boys. Uh-huh. They were instructed to come by the stage that arrived today, but they didn't. Not bad. Means that Morley may win. Uh-huh. I can't understand it. Amos gave every one of his sons money to get a start for himself when they were ready to leave home. Now, when he needs them, they turn him down. Mm. Saddle up. Here, Scout. What we do? Amos still has the better part of two months in which to get that herd to Cedar Point. That's right. I've got an idea, and I think it'll work. But the main thing is speed. Ah. Hurry, Kimasabe. You and I have a lot of riding to do. During the next few days, both Amos and Slim made several attempts to add to their small crew. But without success, Morley kept track of every move they made. And one night he chuckled as he listened to the report of one of his men. (laughs) They rode clear to Ridgeville for waddies, eh? (laughs) Further than that, even. Crazy idiots. They should have known they wouldn't have no luck over that way. Reckon they're so up against it, they don't know what to do. What are they planning now? Able to find out? Oh, they're going ahead with the roundup. They are, huh? Sure, I seen them at work. They're going after the critters easy to find. They figure they get a thousand head together without going back to the hills. Ah. But their real troubles will begin when they put them steers on the trail. Let's see. Besides Slim, Foley's only got two other fellas riding for him, ain't he? That's right. That just makes four of them all told, counting Amos. And Amos ain't so active no more. Uh-huh. Yeah, they could do it. I'd sure hate to try it. Well, you ain't Amos. I've known that fellow for close to 15 years. I ain't never liked him, and he ain't never liked me. I got to admit he's a fighter. Uh Uh-huh. And I've never seen that time he'd admit he was licked. He'll buck any kind of odds. You mean you're afraid of him? Nope. But I don't never make the mistake of underestimating anybody I run up against. Then maybe we ought to do something to keep him from finishing the roundup. Uh Uh-huh. But let me Let him finish it. Let them start out on the trail. Yeah? Then we'll show our hand. Then if they're licked, it'll be too late for them to do anything about it. (laughs) Don't you fret any. Amos will never make delivery. Although Amos was sure that Morley would make every attempt to stop him... He went on with his plans to deliver the thousand head of cattle. Steady, steady. Slim, how many head we got here? About 800. Got to have more. Send the boys out again. Right. Boys, hit leather. We've got to ride in the hill. There's your herd, boss. You got enough? You bet. Then tell the boys to make ready. We hit the trail tomorrow. Goodbye, Amos. Well, (laughs) you sound like I was leaving you for good. Shucks, we won't be gone over five or six weeks. Now, now, don't you go to crying. I'll try not to. Well, I'll have to be on my way, honey. Slim and the boys are waiting. (laughs) Bye. Amos, do be careful. Sure thing. All right, fellas, get them critters going for the trail. Get up, get up there. Oh, oh boy. Hit the trail. They pulled out this morning. You know that for sure? I seen them. Come on. Where are we going? To round up the boys. Squint, Tim, Rocky, all of you. Get your horses and saddle up. Well, we catch him. They make their first camp by the plat. 
We'll meet him there. Foley, I think you're making a mistake. Yeah? How? If you do anything to Foley's herd, he can report it to the law and the railroad both. You won't get the contract and you might be jailed. <laughs> you think I'm a fool? But I tell you... You ever hear uh... of two outfits getting in a fight? Yes, but... Anybody ever tell you it was against the law? Of course, Stan. Well, if we was to meet up with their outfit just accidental like, stop to pass the time of day and... Then one word led to another till we got in a row. Well, <laughs> who'd put us in jail for that? Well, what good's a fight going to do? It? There's a dozen of us and four of them. How do you think that fight would come out? Well, we'd lick them, of course, but just as We'll give them such a beating they won't be able to walk or ride either one. Yeah? And if they can't neither walk nor ride, how could anybody expect them to ride herd on all them critters? I'm beginning to savvy. It's time you did. We won't have to do a thing to them critters. They'll scatter by themselves. <laughs> and by the time Amos and his men are able to get around again, they'll be long gone. <laughs> and what are we waiting for? Let's go. Get up there. Come on. Get up. Late that afternoon, Amos and his crew had driven their herd as far as the River Platte. There, with water for their herd, they made camp for the night. Slim and Amos remained beside the fire, while their two companions kept the first watch. Well, we've got this far without trouble, boss. Wonder what the next few days will bring. You know, Slim, I got a hunch. Yeah? Something tells me we're going to make out all right after all. We're short-handed and... There are powerful ways to go. A thousand one things could happen. But just the same, I ain't worried. I wish I wasn't. I reckon Morley knows I ain't the fellow to tangle with. You think he made his play when he kept you from hiring anybody, huh? <laughs> I'd bet on it. No, I wouldn't. Well, doggone, Slim. You always have to be looking for the worst to happen. It ain't a bad way to be. Uh, then if the worst does happen, you ain't surprised. And if it don't, then you feel that much better. Well, that's one way of looking at it. Hey, you, uh... You stake out the horses? Sure, why? Thought I heard... I did hear horses. Listen. Uh-huh, so do I. Who do you figure it could be? I don't know. Almost anybody, I guess. They're sure spurring their horses. They are, ain't they? You don't think... There they are. Boss. Yeah? That horse in the lead. It's a Palomino. That's the kind of horse Morley always rides. You, you think it's him? It is. Now I can make him out. Blast his hide. Boy, there. No mistake on that, polecat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Howdy, Slim. Evening, Amos. Didn't expect to meet up with you fellas. I just bet you didn't. What brought you here? Oh, I see. Them your cows across the river, Amos? Who do you think they belong to? Now, is that any way to talk? <laughs> You're sure getting hard to get along with, Amos. Here, me and my boys stop to say howdy, and you act like you wish we just rode on. We do. Morley, you knew just as well as we did that we were taking a herd on the trail. You knew we'd stop here the first night out. You knew if you rode this way, you'd meet up with us. So what's the idea pretending you didn't? Slim, I ain't so sure I like the way you're talking. No? I wanted to act friendly. It looks as though you don't want it that way. Anytime you're friendly, Morley, there's a reason for it. Nine times out of ten, it's a crooked reason. Amos, I'll give you a chance to take that back. You can go to blazes. You ain't apologizing? To you? Well, I should smile, I ain't. You hear that, fellas? I tried to be friendly, and they wouldn't. I let Amos insult me, but he won't apologize. Would you fellas stand for that? We sure I wouldn't. If I was you, boss, I'd teach him a lesson. If he wants trouble, give it to him. And maybe next time he'll know enough not to butt off more than he can You hey. never told it. Huh? Don't you see what they're up to? They want to start a fight. That's their scheme. They come here to pick a quarrel of purpose. Then if they did, I'll... you what? I'll give you what you come for. Boss, cut it out. Sounds like your foreman's gone yell on you, Amos. Who are you calling yellow? Oh, you do want to fight, do you? Why don't you clear out and leave us be? For you fellas to tell it in town later that you scared us off? You're just a rotten, low-down, scheming crook. Ha! Ah, that's talking, Slim. You come here looking for a fight. You're a dozen to just the two of us. You got two others. Which still just makes four. But if you're after a fight, we can't stop you. So we might as well have it over with. Come on, you sneaking varmints. Let's see what you're made of. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. hey, hear that? There's somebody else coming, Morley. What are you waiting for? You want to fight? Get started. When we give it to him, boss. Wait and see who this is. Come on, Silver. Come what? on. There's the masked man. And the engine's with him. But there's four or five other fellas. Who, who are they? I... Here we come. Amos, it's your boys. There, there's Ed, and that's Leif, and Kyle, and Jim. 
by golly, even Dale's along. Oh, every one of us got your letter asking for help. And every one of us figured all the other boys would be with you so he wouldn't be needed. But the masked man come and got us. You, you went after my boys? I did, Amos. I didn't think they'd desert you when they knew the truth. Now, what's happened here? These skunks come here looking for a fight because they figured we was alone. Now, wait. We was just joking. We didn't mean nothing to... Oh, you wanted a fight, huh? If you want a fight, we'll accommodate you. Because that's just what we've been looking for. Come on, everybody. Pitch in. Let uh, me at him. Wow, let's go. Make way for me. All Here right, men. Lick them to a frazzle. We're in this too. Tell them at them. <laughs> His arm. But Paul, I Go, just... go and get in. Are you poor? Do like I say. Well, if you insist, Paul. Hey, what are you going to do? Morley, I've been saving something for you for a good long spell. And here it is. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you knocked him cold. And I thought you told us you was getting old. <laughs> the older I am, the tougher I get. <laughs> now, now, what become of the masked man, the redskin? I, I've got to thank him. Yeah, where are they? Gosh, I don't know. They was right in the middle of the fight just a minute ago. I there they are. Well, just what I suspicioned. Huh? Wouldn't wait to be thanked. Boys, either I'm loco or that's the Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.